Hey there guys, it's Kim here from YourChicGeek.com. I wanted to just bring you this quick video tutorial to show you how to take a template, a letterhead template in Canva, how to brand it, how to apply your own color schemes and things like that to the template and add it and use it basically as your own stationery or add it to your stationery kit. Um, one of the reasons that I absolutely love using Canva is because it is a very powerful digital marketing tool, or not digital marketing, but a visual branding and graphic design tool that you can use and you can get access to thousands upon thousands of templates you know that you can use to create all kind of graphics documents and things like that um, you know for your business so I am speaking into the atmosphere and believing that one day I'm gonna be a Canva ambassador so Melanie girl call me call me no but <laughs> but seriously though this is a very very powerful tool and I just wanted to just show you guys how to um, use Canva to create a letterhead that you can use in your stationary kit okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go in Canva and just want to give you a word of warning this is Canva 2.0 I am planning to do a video tutorial and kind of an overview of it to just show you you know how to use it and all of that good stuff but for now we're just going to head over to the section that says create a design and then we're going to scroll through using these buttons here to find the letterhead template and that template is here so I'm going to go ahead and click to select this and uh, this is going to bring up all of the different letterhead templates that Canva has okay and there's a lot of them guys so you can get super duper duper creative with this thing I mean it's just so much that you can do now I do want to say that if you're planning to use the free designs then you want to make sure that it says free on the bottom anything that does not have free under it is telling you that there is a, a feature or an image or something like that that you're gonna have to pay for and it's not expensive so no biggie but I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out okay so what we're gonna look for really quickly is just a free design that I can doctor up just to show you guys how powerful um, and how easy it is rather to use Canva and how to create a really great looking letterhead for your business so let's see here personal letterhead let's see here okay so this one looks okay um, it looks pretty cool but yeah I don't really uh, it's not it's not jumping out to me like yeah I just want to use this letterhead for my business right so I'm gonna look for something else they have this one um, and they have a lot of templates like I said guys so I'm just trying to find something I'm more of a very clean kind of look <laughs> with my designs and so I don't really go for anything that's like too crazy and it has too much stuff going on I kind of really like to keep it simple the people that know me that have you know worked with me <laughs> they know that I'm super duper simple and people will probably say boring but hey to each his own I just like to keep things definitely keep things simple okay so I'm gonna keep looking through here to just see if I find something that stands out to me that we can easily um, modify and apply color schemes to to make it pretty okay so this one I think is a paid one this one is free alright so I'm gonna keep looking and okay let's see here I don't really see anything I love this one but I, it's a paid one so I'm gonna have to skip it alright so you know what I'm gonna go back up because I'm not seeing anything guys it's just like oh this one is free it's kind of a holiday-ish kind of letterhead though I don't really want anything with <laughs> so let me just go back up here okay so this is a personal letterhead this is all right you know what we're gonna use this one okay so this one looks pretty simple to modify all right so the first things first is I I like this one I, I don't think it's that bad um could have used a little bit more pizzazz but that's okay that's okay all right great so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start applying my colors to this letterhead template because actually no I'm sorry guys I keep changing my mind it's all right just bear with me bear with your girl okay 
I'm going to use this one. I like this one a little bit better. Um, you know, it has a little bit more of a pop to it. And I'm just going to dress it up really quickly. So the first things first is, as you can see on this letterhead template, we have the logo here. We have the name of the company. Um, we have these little uh, squares up here on the borders and things like that. And so the first thing that I'm going to start doing is the branding side of it, which is applying my color schemes to this document. Now, if you're not sure how to choose colors and things like that for your branding, then I would recommend using a tool called colorpalettes.net. It's free. It really makes it simple to choose color schemes, apply them and all that kind of stuff. So head over there to check that out. Okay. But what I'm going to do is because I pretty much know that my colors are already stored in Canva, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the boxes and I'm just going to start applying my colors to this document. So I'm going to go here to the plus up here to the color and then if I want to apply my colors to this box then what you can do is click plus and then you're gonna basically put in your color code okay all right so I'm gonna do the same thing over here click plus and this is one thing that I do uh, like about Canva guys is the fact that after you apply your different colors in here and then you go back you're gonna see that it's gonna store the colors you can see it says document colors now right all right so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color of this middle bar and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this yellow oh wow that looks different yep so the transparency is off all right so and what I did to take the transparency out is I essentially went over here to the transparency button initially it was at like a 40 I just basically drug it over to the right to increase it to a hundred because I want it to be that true color of my brand okay so I'm gonna do the same thing so we have the green green and then the yellow in the middle so I'm gonna click on this and again I've already used these colors so they're already gonna be there so I don't have to put in my color code again so I'm gonna go here and this one is at 40 okay and then I'm gonna go here and change this okay all right great now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this logo because well this isn't my logo right I wanna apply my own logo design so I'm gonna go ahead and click the little trash can button to remove this element from the design I'm gonna go over here to uploads okay and this is where you can come to upload your logo design it's simple you just click upload an image you navigate to where you've saved your logo design and then you just basically can upload it into canva and then apply it to your design so for the sake of time i'm going to go ahead and scroll down because i do know that i've saved my logo design here okay so i just need to find it and here it is so this is my logo design and I'm gonna go ahead and put this here okay alright so I'm just gonna go ahead and type your geek.com actually I don't need to do that I can just do do a tagline here helping solopreneurs go from unnoticed to unstoppable all right, now, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to highlight this text because, first off, it's too big, and secondly, it's not the text that I use for my branding. So, I've highlighted the text. I'm going to go here to the text drop-down menu, and instead of using Montserrat, I'm going to use Glacial Indifference, okay? So, this is the font that I use. And then I'm going to go here to the size, and I'm going to drop this down to about a 12. Yep. Okay. Now, if I really wanted to get fancy, then what I can do is I can actually change the color of the font just to kind of make it pop a little bit. And, you know, there you go. So that's that. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to change the font down here, okay, from um, this Montserrat to Laura because that's one of the fonts that I do. Actually, it's Open Sans. I can use Open Sans because that is one of the fonts that I do use for my branding. 
and then I'm going to change the the body or the text to Laura. I'm sorry, to um, Open Sans. I'm going to change this to Open Sans. And then I'm going to change this to Open Sans as well. Okay. Keeping consistency, right? And so, of course, here I would do, you know, change and put my name. So it'll be Kim George Founder. Okay. And then what I would do is just come down to the bottom here. Um, to me, this font is a little small. So instead of leaving it at an 8.19, I'm going to increase it to like, I don't want it to be a 12. I'll increase it to like a 10. And then I'm going to change this to Glacial Indifference. And actually, put this as an 11. And then here is where you can start pulling, you know, putting in your contact information or your address and stuff like that. So we'll do, let's see, 2200. Jackson Street. I don't know. That's a song. I think it is. And so then you would put in your number, 972. Okay. 555. Five, five. I'm going to do it like they do it in the movies. 5555. Five, five, five. <laughs> All right. So the website, you definitely want to make sure you put your website in there. Dot com. And then your email is going to be Kim at your sheet geek. Dot com. Something else that you can do too with your letterhead is you can put your social media channels, right? So it'll be like, you know, uh, Facebook.com, your, and then Twitter.com. Okay. And so that's pretty much it. Basically, you just add your contact information, and that is it, guys. Um, now I would probably, I don't know, jazz this up just a little bit more, you know, just have fun with the design and just spice it up and things like that. Okay. But once you're completely happy with the way that your letterhead looks and you're ready to print it out, then all you need to do is go over here to the right to where it says print document. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do download because I don't really want to print it. I just want to download the document. And of course, under file type, instead of doing PNG, you want to do PDF print, okay? That. And then you just want to click download. So it's going to start downloading the design. And of course, Canva now is offering a professional printing service. So if that's something you want to take care of, you can definitely do that. But I just wanted to see how the letterhead looks. And I think it looks pretty good, okay? It's really simple. It's really clean. And that's pretty much it, okay? So guys, just wanted to show you really quickly, you know, what you can do as far as taking a document um, or one of the templates in Canva and just kind of making it your own. So what I would advise you to do is just go through, have fun, you know what I mean? Look at the templates, find something that really inspires you and, um, you know, just go and apply your color schemes, put your logo out there. Like here's another one that's really nice, you know, and just have fun, just have fun with it. You know, just have fun. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video tutorial on how to brand one of the letterhead templates in Canva as your own. And um, I'd love for you to leave feedback. And if there's any other videos you want to see in regards to how to use Canva for visual design and, you know, things like that, just let me know. Um, I'm going to keep cranking out video tutorials to help you guys on your visual design journey. So, yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and take care, guys. Bye.